The life of whale sharks, known for their huge mouths, remains shrouded in mystery. The habitat is massive and overfishing has eroded their population. To try to shed light on the ecology of the world's largest fish, a group of researchers launched a study off eastern Indonesia. NHK World's Lakman Sudarbo has more. Aimana in West Papua is 3,000 kilometers from Jakarta. In coastal waters there, a whale shark roughly six meters long. It opens its mouth to gobble up lots of small fish at once. Warm ocean waters near the equator is their main habitat. Despite their huge size, the fish pose no risk to humans. But they are vulnerable to environmental changes and it's difficult to raise them in aquariums. Much remains unknown about their activities and life cycle. Abraham Sianipar is a researcher with an international conservation group. He's been engaged in a study on whale sharks for the past five years. Whale shark could be one of the one of the indicators of the healthy oceans as well. And Kaimana as well, they, they've been dubbed as a kingdom of fish. Whale shark meat trades for high prices as ingredient for shark fin soup, a popular Chinese dish. But overfishing became rampant from the 1970s, causing the whale shark's population to fall. They are now subject to protection, but studying them had been considered difficult as their habitat is so expansive. The scientists made a breakthrough when they realized how fishermen were interacting with the whale sharks. Fishermen in Indonesia used this floating platform called a bagai. With this traditional method, they deploy nets to catch shoals of small fish drawn by lights fitted on poles on board. The method also attracts whale sharks following the small fish. Fishermen consider the whale shark a divine being that ensures an abundant catch, so it's given part of the whole as an offering. Whale sharks usually come early in the morning, at around 5 or 5.30 a.m. When I see them, it makes me very happy. Sianipar hit upon the idea of fitting electronic tags to the whale shark when they approach vessels in search of food. The tags are linked to the global positioning system. For two years, the system allows researchers to track the shark's activities and see when they gather. And because the whale shark has uh, frequently go to the surface, we get a reliable data almost real time. So far, the tags have been fitted to eight whale sharks. The researchers believe that many young whale sharks grow to adulthood in this area of the sea. The researchers have also learned two important things. Most female whale sharks live in mangrove forests, where a great deal of nutrients are stored, while some male migrate to distant seas, such as the South China Sea. Sianipar believes a global effort is indispensable to safeguard whale sharks into the future. Above Indonesia, also making collaboration with other countries as well, because if we could secure the whale shark in Indonesia and then the whale shark go out outside of Indonesia where it wasn't protected, it is going to jeopardize the life of the whale shark as well. The ecology of whale sharks has come to be known little by little. The current study is expected to lead a successful conservation of this precious species. Lukman Sudarbo, NHK World, Jakarta. And that wraps up our bulletin. I'm Pachari Raksa Wong in Bangkok.